Hello everybody, it is I, Mr. Charlie Murray, and welcome back to another pack opening video. This time, it is for the Oppressor Packs, which is the last one in the Alliance Packs, I believe, because next we'll be moving on to Command Packs, which is probably something to do with Galactic Command, but no doubt we'll find out what these are in January time, perhaps, probably. Hopefully there won't be as many as the Alliance, because look, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, uh, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 13 packs! Compared to your usual four or two in case of uh, the nightlife. But even so, bloody hell, by the way, you have been busy, busy, busy. As always, I ask you guys to post your character name, server, and whether you are Republic or Empire in the comment section. And I can now reveal that the three winners of a super crate of the Oppressor Packs are Zyostiox, I think, Zyostiox. From the Beggaring Colony, Mr. Fear, or Mr. F Mr. Fire, again, these are weird names, uh, from the Harbinger server, and Jaluk from the Harbinger server as well. So, congratulations to all three of you! You have won a super crate check in mail because you will have received a notification message from me, and then in about 36 hours or so. I say 36 hours, but sometimes it can even be a week before I bother to send you your super crates. I'm so sorry if I do that in future. Just, it happens, I get busy, I get tired. I'm not always on this game, you've got to understand that. I have my own life, things happen, so yeah. And of course, if you would like a chance to win a Super Crate of the next shipment, in fact, not just pack, shipment, I guess this is going to be like another usual pack like these are. If you'd like to win one of three, I should say, then say it with me now. Post your character name your server, and whether you are Republic or Empire, by the next pack video, which I'm guessing is going to be 5.1 in January, I guess. I don't know. It'd be nice, because, it, you know, we've got Kotet out right now, and let people play Kotet, and then start with the next bit stuff, you know, yeah. Um, now, don't worry, as well, I have finished Kotet, so you can try and spoil the story for me, but... I've already played it. <laughs> but don't worry, I won't be posting any story spoilers at all. Or saying any spoilers. I say posting, not even in the comments. I won't even be saying any story spoilers. You don't need to worry about that. Although I could. I could tell you something right now. But I won't. <laughs> don't worry, honestly. I, I am not. I'm not an ass. You don't need to worry about that. Okay. So. I say so a lot. I know. Everything's out of my... No, wrong one. Everything's out of my item stash. My cargo hold still haven't been sorted out, even though I've asked you guys to remind me, because I am a lazy ass. And we shall begin opening the 26 oppressor packs, which, yes, we should probably mention what we might find in here. That armor set. I think I want it. I don't know if I do or not. I feel like I want it. I mean, I am getting used to Kranotoka's armor right now. I mean, I'll show you what it is right now if you haven't already seen it. Uh, let's put it on him, just so you can get a proper look at him. He wore this the entire time I was playing Kotet. Uh, so, yep, this is his armor. It's a really cool piece of armor. But, and I know I've already just got it. In fact, I only got it, what, four days ago? I haven't decided if I'm going to change things up yet. If I'm going to get rid of that armor. Maybe later on down the line, but I don't think I'll do it whilst doing this content I'm doing now for Kotet, because I've still got the uprisings to do and everything like that. Um, so there's that. What else have we got? We also have, I guess that's um, a Beast Companion, or maybe that's a Beast Companion. One of the two, and nothing really else that's interesting. But maybe, maybe, we'll have a look. So, the first pack contains, and I've learned something as well, that, um, I can skip the animation um, as well, which I'll do in a minute. So we got Grand Chance Cube, great. Unless they've changed it a bit, probably not. A Jar Junk, Midnight Racers, Upper Body Armor, and Gourmet Ration Pack. I guess we got to see the armor. We have that, and we have that. It's a bit basic, isn't it? A, a bit basic. I mean, maybe if I was a newbie, that would be good armor. And I don't really like how it is in purple. But again, it's it's very basic. It's nothing really. I mean, it is. It's midnight racers. So I'm guessing this is like a racers kind of armor, maybe. I don't know. 
See, if you click, you make it go faster. I learned that from Smotor Central. We have Republic Starfighter display. Aw, oh, ha. Security soldiers, supplementary body armor, and the stuff we don't care about. All right, let's take a look at both. We've got security soldiers' helmet, braces, and belt. The helmet makes you look like your Ant-Man for some weird reason. Uh, the braces, nothing interesting. And the belt, nothing. It's just a plain belt, really. Something that I mean, I I guess there's something good about plain belts is that they blend in. Some of the belts which I get, they just look so out of place. I mean, there's some that are just massive and have too many bits on, on the belt itself. And they just seem out of place to me. So I guess it's good if they are kind of just basic, but... We've got so many basic ones. Uh, our Republic Starfighter display, which we put on a floor small. Hey, what is this? Oh, it's almost as... Well, it, it, yeah, it is almost as tall as me. Uh, I guess I'm going to press that and see what happens. Ah, I'm guessing these are Republic ships. Or Republic Starfighter ships, I should add. Do they change every time I press the button? They do! Ooh, so we can have whichever one we wanted out of three of them. So we have that one... We have that one, and we have that one. Sweet! That's kind of nice, I like that. The next pack contains... Grand Chance Cube. Uh, ooh, Aratech Vengeance. It has a weird different kind of design. It almost looks like it's a Horde mount. You know, the Horde logo from World of Warcraft? Have Bioware and uh, Blizzard teamed up to make a mount? No. This isn't going to be the Horde logo or anything like that. Okay. Ooh, I do. I, I mean, I do like that little small design. It gives it a nice little bit of flair. In fact, it feels like it's a Zabrak kind of mount. Because remember, Bi uh, I was going to say Bioware is a Zabrak. Yes, they are all Zabraks of Bioware. Kranatoko is a Zabrak himself. So this, this really does match him. Doesn't it? It really does. That is perfect for him. I mean, not that he's going to use it. I mean, he prefers to use his jetpack and his walker mounts and whatnot. But maybe he'll he'll ride this once in a while. He lied because he's never going to look at it again. <laughs> Some of these mounts... I don't even use the random mount button. Some of these mounts are just to show you and that's really it. I know. I'm, I'm terrible like that. Uh, we have... Grand Chance Cube... Crimson Raiders supplementary, sub yeah, the, the, yeah, you know what I meant. Can you give me the the, the armor set I want? I know it's very rare, but I'd really appreciate it. That, that, and that. The helmets. Ah, okay, it's not too bad. It's not the worst helmet I've ever seen. Yeah, that gets annoying seeing that pop up every now and then. If there's a way to turn that off, that would be great. I'll find out at some point, but too lazy to figure out right now uh, and again basic belt basic braces they don't pop they don't catch your eye really they're just just braces in the belt grand varactyl eh? and a grand chance oh god am i going to be getting grand chance cube after grand chance cube I'd rather do oh it's a pet i thought it was going to be a mount okay then i mean i already have varactyls but i guess i'll have another one hello you're scurrying along hello you remind me of the little uh Dinosaurs from Jurassic Park. You know, the ones that come out of the eggs are like, ah, and being weird. But it's true. I mean, I love the green, I love the green hair. Did you die that yourself? I'll keep you up for, I was going to say, I'll keep you up for now, but if you make any noises, you're going away. You've just made a noise, so you're going away right now. And the next pack contains Taskmaster's lower body armor, Imperial, oh, got the Imperial stuff I display now. Lovely, I'm getting matching sets. Good thing is, we can compare the two. Well, they look exactly the same up close, but they have different ships, I imagine. So there's the Republic on the left, Imperial on the right, and then we'll swap them over. Again, that's an Imperial one, that definitely looks Imperial. That's Republic, and Imperial, and the other Republic, please. Thank you. So there we go. I got both ones now. And then they turn off after the last one. Turn off, please. Thank you. And we have the lower body armor for the Taskmaster. Ooh, I like those trousers. Those trousers are quite nice, quite nifty. And the boots. Eh. I like the knee pads. Knee pads are good. The boots, they're just kind of basic boots, aren't they? Eh. I, 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 I like them. I like them for the most part, but probably wouldn't wear them on Granitoko. The next park contains... Give me the armor I want. I could really do with the armor. Uh, got that mount, and I've already got the Imperial Sapphire display, so we don't need to see those again! Give me the armor set! 
Two grand chance cubes. Really? You're going to play me now, game? Ay, ay, ay. Uh, Taskmaster's lower body armor. I've already shown you that. But we have a Grand Tech F11D blaster rifle. Not that Kranatoka uses blaster rifles. But we've got to look at it anyway. Because some of you out there are probably jizzing over the fact that Kranatoko is using this weapon right now. I mean, I, I guess. I don't know if any of you have uh, ever gone with a gun or a cannon be all like, <gasps> I must have that gun or cannon, like us force users do, where we're all like, <gasps> I want that lightsaber. I just, you know, as any anyone that doesn't really have a force user, can you let me know if you do get this excited over guns? Because I just don't. I get excited over lightsabers, but guns? <sighs> no, I, I really don't. I really don't. Next pack contains Tazmaster's upper body armor this time and a Woodland Vaughn Tiger. Ah, so that's a pet, is it? Oakley doakley. First of all, we'll look at the little cute pet. It's like my own little pet cat. Ah, oh, hello. Oh, blimey, you run like a cat as well. Gum. Let's rule the world, shall we? God, you are beautiful, aren't you? I just want to stroke you. Some of the pets, I really wish I could just stroke them, but they're not real. <laughs> they're not real. Do you make a noise? That's all? Do you want to roar? Roar, roar to me! Rawr! No? No? No roar? Roar? Wow. The Ragdoll wanted to roar right away. You, on the other hand, you just... You just want to be a cat, don't you? You just want to be a cat. And we also have the Taskmaster's upper body armor, so we can combine the two with the lower body armor as well. Um... So, the jacket is, I'd say, almost like the Imper my Imperial Agents one. So, I don't, I can't remember what it's called. The Imperial Agents ones had... Oh, now you want to say something. Imperial Agent ones had, like, uh, the, 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 where the zips are. This poking out. Whereas this time, it's, like, flat on Granitoko's chest. I mean, it doesn't look exactly the same. It looks nifty. I love it. This, this might even be my new Imperial Agent gear on Maladar. It is quite nifty. I, see, I just love, I love jackets that are like leather and just have this nice drapey effect. It's, ah, oh, it's beautiful. And if anything, I kind of wish this was my Imperial Agent's armor throughout doing my playthrough with him. Because I prefer this to what he's wearing now, in all honesty. The next pack contains... Uh, we have the tiger again, and we have a grand chance keep. I've just forgotten. I need to put the tiger away because he's going to start making noises. Wow, we've only got 14 more packs after this one. Just speeding through these. Uh, Republic Starfire display again. Sith Tomb Column Statue, and it's a gold item. Wow. It better be worth my while. I don't know what to think about that. I mean, what is he holding? What is he holding? Is it some sort of relic? Looks like the keystone from Lego Dimensions. Huh. I mean, it looks scary, kind of. Looks like it just could just jump out at me any minute. Just sort of jump out of the stone and just start attacking me. <laughs> Sorry, I thought that would scare you because uh, maybe it might make you think that I was going to jump. <laughs> I'm being stupid, I know, I'm sorry. But it, yeah, it, it looks scary. You wouldn't want to see that in the dark, that's for sure. But to me, he just looks fat. He looks fat. He looks like he's had too much to eat. And he's now about to eat, I don't know, a giant blue candy corn. <laughs> In fact, that's all I'm going to see now. <laughs> he's just there eating candy corn. <laughs> Excuse me. I just, I can just imagine being all, oh, a blue candy corn. And it's all mine. I have the weirdest sense of humour. Have you come to know that yet? We have... Grand Chance Q, Midnight Racer's upper body armour, which I believe we've already seen. Is it or was it supplementary? Have we seen? No, it was upper body armour. That's fine. 13 packs to go, and then of course we've got the Grand Chance Cube to open. Can I have the armour set, please? Please? No. Advanced Orange Gold. What, aren't they just almost the same colour anyway? Orange Gold? Okay, that would be this one. Again, it just doesn't seem like a lightsaber colour. It does feel like they are just making them up now. 
If you can have a lightsaber colour, at least have a lightsaber colour that fits. That just doesn't fit at all in my books. I mean, you would never see anyone in the movies having that sort of colour. Yet, anyway, maybe later on down the line, uh, we have the Eviscerating Crystal, which is the exact same one. Just eviscerating. Another Grand Chance Cube. Let's move on. Another Grand Chance Cube. Taskmaster's up the I'm getting repeats now! Can I not get repeats, please? Right, okay, we have Savannah, Kaibuk, and Sith Supply Locker. Don't I already have a Sith Supply Locker? Mm, I thought I did. Maybe I don't know. Where is it? There. Oh, I guess I don't. I guess it's just a different sort of Supply Locker that I have. Savannah, Kaibuk. It is just a torn torn, but it looks a bit festive. Kind of. It it's not meant to be festive, but it looks... Oh, actually, it looks like... Well, it's got a zebra's legs and a zebra's butt with a horse tail uh, and a torn, torn body. Mm. I don't know what to make of it, really. Uh, it's okay, I guess. I mean, torn, torn's are always fun to ride because just the way they're, they're just they're just so speedy. They seem so speedy. It's so weird. Was it also we had a Sith Supply Locker? Hopefully this is the hook it goes on. Sith Warrior, no, Sith Supply Locker, there it is. Oh, right, okay. I see what you mean by Sith Supply Locker now because these sort of symbols are very Sith-like. Um, it'd be nice if I could actually go inside. It'd be nice if this could act as your cargo hold, really. Or maybe you could put something in it. Maybe open it up, maybe have some sort of animation. I don't know, I mean, that'd be good. But, nah. I mean, that can go in my German Cash Stronghold for sure, because my German Cash Stronghold is like a Sithy kind of stronghold. The next pack contains Imperial Logo Rug, a security soldier's lower body armor. Got a rug now, have I? Sweet. But let's look at the lower body armor first. We have that, and we have that. Ooh, I like that. I don't like the bullet holes though. You've ruined it with the bullet holes. If it didn't have the bullet holes, I mean, are they meant to be bullet holes or are they meant to be air holes? I don't know. I guess they have air holes, but f at first glance, they do look like they're bullet holes. They were good to begin with, and then yeah, yeah, ruined it, Bioware. You kind of ruined it because I don't like those holes. I mean, Kranitoka wants to be warm. He does. He, he wants this to warm up. He doesn't want him to go to a hoth and be like, "Oof, I'm cold there and I'm cold there." And there and there, but I'm warm everywhere else. But those four places, brr. And we have an Imperial logo rug, so we will get rid of this, and we shall drop the Imperial logo rug. Ooh, I like that. That's cool. Although, kind of looks like a cross, if anything. Yeah, it looked good to begin with, but I'm not a religious sort of person, and. I mean, I don't have to associate it as a cross, but I'm just not... I don't know, it does look like it's meant to be a cross. I mean, it is meant to be like an X or a plus, and it is technically a cross, but... You know what I mean? I'm not a religious person. I, if only if it filled out the edges a little bit, but... Hey. Each to our own, I guess. Each to our own. The next pack could... Oh. Go away! Next pack contains... Uh, uh, I'm getting repeats now. It is just all repeats. Crimson Raiders upper body armor. Holocron of oh a holocron this time. Did I really look at Crimson Raiders upper body armor? I don't think I did. Uh, it was the supplementary body armor. So we can look at both now. Hooray! And here it is. Um, it's definitely Crimson Raidery. Um, I don't know how it's supposed to protect you because I don't know. If that's meant to be the piece of armor that stops from any bullets from hitting you, well, after one shot, it's going to fly off, isn't it? So, I mean, look at that. It already looks like it has a bullet hole. Look at that! Unless it's on the other side as well. Nope. Somebody's already shot at it. <sighs> Wait, are there bullet holes everywhere? Oh, yeah, there's some sort of bullet holes everywhere. All right, then. Well, there's that, if you're interested in that. But I'm not. Not really. And we've also got the Holocron... Oh, it goes on the ceiling, does it? Well, then. Oh, it's one of those big ones, is it? Oh, it's... Ooh. There's a noise coming from it as well. It's like the sounds of the dead. Wow, okay. That's quite scary. 
Maybe I'll put that in my drama cat stronghold, but with that noise, that may be a bit too scary. I'm not going to put it in my room, in my bedroom, because how's Crown going to go to sleep when he can hear the souls of the dead being all... I don't actually know if they're souls of the dead. I'm implying that they're the souls of the dead. Uh, Grand Varactyl again, and the orange gold indestructible crystal. Fine. Uh, riot control weapon tuning and banner cast city. Ooh, a cast city banner! I'm, I love how I'm more excited about the banner than the weapon tuning. I know, my mind, right? Ah, it's those banners! Yes, I know those banners. Well, hold on. It, um, can't be seen properly. Let me, uh, move it. Is it? No, no, no. Is it that way? No, uh,. Well, yeah, there we go. We'll do it like that. There you go. Now you can see it properly. There we go. Yes. I've seen those in Cast City. I'm pretty sure I have anyway. It's, uh... It's alright, I guess. Yeah, it's, it's okay. What was the other thing I got? Uh, oh, the weapon tuning as well. This weapon tuning can be added to add visual effects to your weapon. So what does it do? Um... I don't know. Is that meant to be the weapon tuning? Oh, just some sparks. It's just some sparks. How is that right control though? How is a few sparks right control? Okay, we have three more packs and I haven't even got the armor. Tell you what, if I get the armor, I'll change Kranatoka's armor to that. Well, I won't. Nope. Ah, uh, come on now. Let me have the armor. Nope, but we have the sniper rifle, which we'll take a look at. There you go, snipers. You can go crazy over that as well. Again, I don't know if any of you do go crazy over these sort of weapons, but I feel the need to show it all the same, because if I'm going to show the lightsabers for people like me, might as well show the guns as well. And the last pack. Will I get the armor? No. With that racist supplementary body armor. Imperial Starfighter play that means that these two are just pieces of crap. Okay. I can look at the supplementary body armor for the Midnight Racers as well. At the same time as the upper body armor. So there's that. And that and that. So there is basically the top half. Oh wow, it's starting to look like Master Chief a little bit. Like a discount Master Chief. <laughs> yeah, definitely. Now, we have the Grand Chance Cubes. But will I get anything good from those? No. No. I mean, nothing... I mean, yeah, there have been things in the Grand Chance Cubes where I thought, oh, okay, yeah, that's cool. Yeah, I like that. But nothing has really blown my mind. I never really get anything from the Grand Chance Cube. You know, something like... I don't know. I'll never get whatever it's called. The um, shipment eight. No, shipment nine. Sorry. So yes, shipment eight. I'll never get the unrelated Terror's armor set full set in a Grand Chance Cube. That is a fact. I'm never gonna get that. But if that were to happen, that would be considered blowing my mind. But it just won't happen. So the first one contains emote boohoo. Boo. I think I already have that though. B O O H O O. Yeah, it's like a fake kind of boohoo sort of thing. The next cube contains. Let's get the animation. Dark purple and light purple die module. Oh, you can get dyes in this as well. Where is it? Where's the die? Die. Where are you? Ah, it's there. Cool. Um, I'm not wearing anything to show you, so whatever. The next cube contains kick the hut ball. I can't really show you that until I do hut ball, but I'm pretty sure you've seen it now many times. You're not meant to kick the hut ball, but people do it nonetheless. The Amzab ZB4. Do I already have that? Most likely. Yes, I do. So I'm not going to go into it. I'll just show you it this way. Ooh, wow, that is a bit more blue than I thought it was going to be. There we go then. Um, don't know if I like the design of that, but hey, maybe some people will. Next cube. 
Underworld lights, orange. Do I already have that? Underworld light, where is it? Yes, I already have it. It is just that orange light. That plain light which nobody really gives a crap about. Next cube contains medical stanchions. Do I have that? I do. Uh, can I take a look at it? What is What, what even is medical stanchions? Um, oh, those! It's just like some sort of banner. You know, if you've got a waiting line, but medical-wise, I guess. That's kind of nifty. I like that. Next cube. Ikas XK9. Do I already have that? Most likely. Yes, I do. So, it looks like that. Again, these are just sort of the colours, I think. I think these are like the old ones, which Bioware just was all like, eh, let's just throw in that colour and see if it works. And it really, really doesn't. Shame on you, Bioware, from three or so years ago. Shame on you. Uh, temple chair, ornament. I do have one of those. Blimey, you're giving me all the stuff I already have. How many decorations do I have? My word. You know what? I'm going to put this in A to Z because for some reason I can never find them. Temple chair, ornament is just that. Nothing really special about that. In fact, anything I get in the Grand Chance Cubes are ever special. So, model VX5 Ricca. I don't believe I have that. So, we'll take a look at the little cute, tiny ship. I don't know how a ship can be cute, but let me have my moment. Oh, I've already got it. Oh, really? Ah, oh, I already have it. Well, hey, it looks like that. How interesting, you're right? Ooh, it's doing a spin. Ah, oh, so cute. Next cube contains a Stella Wriggler. Do I have one of those? I don't actually know. I think I do. Uh, no, I don't. Cool. We'll have you out then. Aw, hello. Oh. Excuse me, Baldar. Do you mind telling me what you're doing in my stronghold? Um, I can't click him in or anything. But why has Baldar just randomly showed up in my stronghold? Is anybody has somebody started visiting my stronghold or something? I no, it's just me. What the hell, Baldar? <laughs> okay, we'll try and do this around him. But there it is. It's got weird. And big eyes and big teeth. Cool, I guess. You're right, Baldar. Just show up out of the blue, why don't you? <laughs> don't know. The next cube contains a mood outrage. Oh, I hate that emote. Oh, I really do. Uh, outrage. Your mood is now outraged. Basically, he looks like he's going, Ah! And it's a scary face, and I don't like it. I'm actually going to put it back to neutral. I just don't like Kranatoga looking that way. It's just... He's never that angry. A Theron Shan's armor set. Ah, oh, sweet. Okay. Um, I don't want to wear it because I could sell that. So we shall look for... Ther oh, no. I need to go to... Uh, armor, don't I? Yes, I do. So if you want to have Kranatoka looking like Theron Shan, that actually suits Kranatoka very well. It really does. I think he wears it better. Don't you all agree? And because, well, I got the die, I might as well show you what it looks like. Oh, my! Looks like he's wearing spandex. Two more cubes to go. We have the scarred chem lizard. Do I already have one of those? Probably, but let's find out. Where even is it? It is there. And I don't have that. Okay, a new mount. Lovely. And here it is. It's uh, a chem lizard. I never re see. There's some items I just never really know what to say. To be honest. Oh, ah, oh, that's a shame. And somebody cut out bits of his fin and just shut that down. Oh, that's annoying. Who would do such a thing to this chem lizard? That is. Yes, I will, I will admit, some of these mounts, I know they're not real mounts, but they do feel like, I don't know, these creatures were just forced to be this way. It, you got to feel sorry for some of the mounts. 
that you get in the game. I know they're not real, and it's it's just how they are in the Star Wars universe. But uh, it's sad. It's very sad. And we also have title gatekeeper. Do I already have that? I do. So that's that for the alliance packs. I believe we have seen every single one. <sighs> and it's December the 1st as well. It's uh, Christmas month. Can't believe that. Yes. So you know what you got to do with the competition. Again, I have no idea why, ba why Baldar's even there. I mean, it's not even like he's on a hook or anything. He's he's not. He just showed up out of the blue. I, I don't even know why Baldar's here. Why the heck is Baldar even here? <laughs> That's... I mean, I can't click on him, nothing pops up. I think he might be, I don't know, somebody else's stronghold might be interacting with mine, maybe. Um, it does happen every now and then, but I guess somebody placed Baldar there. So whoever you are, it's an odd place to be putting them, isn't it? But nevertheless, thank you very much for watching, ladies and gentlemen. Do subscribe if you want to see more of these videos. Post a like, please. And also share this video as well. I want to get as many people watching these videos as possible. And I shall see you next time. And a farewell to you.